We said clearly that those who have been injured, the medical bills should be taken care of by the government and also should be compensated because of the infringement of their right to demonstrate. And if we can't do that, there's a process, a judicial process, that is going to take place to file for a constitutional petition. And number one, the orders we shall seek is declaration of violation of human rights. There shall be, uh, 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 we, we shall seek compensation. There shall be damages that we shall want. And that cost of litigation shall be borne by the respondent, that is the state. I'm here as Honorable Dr. Dr. Babu Owino. ODM has a spokesperson that can speak on behalf of the party, and that is the party secretary general. I'm speaking on behalf of Kenyans. Kenyans who are agonizing because Ruto in, is antagonizing instead of organizing this country, and therefore it should be disorganized by Kenyans. So on matters ODM, those who accepted these positions, Gen Z's cannot come out to fight for you. And then you, you behave like hyenas. Gen Z's died. People died. Other Kenyans died because of this. You are not party to it. Why should you accept these positions? That is a show of greed. And that should never be tolerated. That is a decision I'm giving as Babu Oweno, not as ODM, although I'm in ODM. The Gen Z's are saying that, uh, which Gen Z's have said that? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, actually, from today henceforth, I'm the chief opposition leader because there are so many jokes doing rounds. There are so many people who are in the opposition, who are now in bed with the government. My interest is to fight for Kenyans. It pains me, it pains me to see a person who was a fellow member of parliament joining government and it pains me to look back in Soweto slums, Kibra slums, to look back in central region, Nyanza coast and everywhere else, to see that child who has been sent away because he lacks only 5,000 to pay for the schooling in a secondary school. Sent because of 5,000. I'm so pained to see that child who's stuck in hospital cannot be treated because they lack money, even money for x-ray that is around only 2,500. If you can't afford it, then you can't even be x-rayed. I'm so pained to see our young men and women moving around without jobs, seeing a border border rider in the sun from morning to evening, only gaining 50 shillings to 100 shillings in a day, seeing a mamamboga, selling boga, selling omena, only to get 50 Kenya shillings, 50 to 100. How will this parent collect this money to reach 300,000 Kenya shillings that Ruto wants in a university? So pain to see our children, our students, who finished high school, are waiting to join university, cannot join because they can't afford it. Some people are dropping out because they can't afford it. Yet, we are encouraging patrimonialism, we are encouraging corruption, we are encouraging favoritism, we are encouraging mediocrity, we are encouraging kakistocracy. What are we doing as a nation? Mr. President, you vied on grounds that you are selling eggs and on the grounds that you are selling chicken. You should know better what a hustler feels. It is because of education that made you live in State House today. Why it not for education, you'd have never come to Nairobi. The same education you are denying to our children, to our brothers and sisters. You've forgotten the hustlers. You are no longer the hustler 
who used to preach the hustler narrative. What happened to you? Instead of just giving direct orders, instead of just employing people who are merit-based, who are capable of delivering services, because you have the resources, you borrowed enough money, we've never seen any single project done, completed, from the time you got in, what is happening with you? Instead, you are turning your back against, you are turning your back on your people. You, there can never be a government without a population that you are killing now. And this was a decision that was made during the Montevideo conference that the characteristics of a state, number one, there must be a definite population. Why are you killing the population? What will you have to govern? The new face of cabinet does not meet any demand, not of the Gen Zs, not obeying even the two-third gender rule as enshrined in the Constitution, as envisaged in the Constitution. It goes against the tenets of the apex of the law, clearly. And I told you, even persons with disabilities are not considered. The only disability that President has considered is mental disabilities that he has decided to nominate in the cabinet. We want other persons with disabilities to be considered within the cabinet.